Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Today on the vlog, I've got some myths to bust for you about this fantastic holiday of binge eating and football and giving thanks. Hello everyone and welcome back to the vlog. I am Brett Hetherington of Headfirst Studios. Thank you for checking in. This week I thought it'd be fun with Thanksgiving coming up to take some time, look at some fun little myths about how Thanksgiving got started and why we do the things we do, and bust them. So it's my very own episode of Mythbusters without the copyright infringement because I'm not stealing any logos, nor did I grow a fantastic beard just like that. Or one Jaime? Jamie? Anyway, on to the myths. The settlers of the first Thanksgiving were called pilgrims. It is not true that the first settlers referred to themselves as pilgrims. In fact, they called themselves saints. In fact, it wasn't until the 20th century that those who first landed at Plymouth Rock were referred to as pilgrims. Myth number two, it was a solemn religious occasion. Hardly. It was a three-day festival. It including drinking, gambling, athletic games, and even target shooting with English muskets. For all you gun lovers out there, what a way to celebrate, huh? Which, by the way, that last one, target shooting, friendly way to remind the natives that the English were quite ready to defend themselves should the need arise. Myth number three, it took place in November. In truth, it was sometime between late September and mid-October when the harvest was actually brought in. In truth, by November, the villagers were working hard to prepare for the winter, salting meats and making their homes as safe from the weather as possible. Myth number four, the pilgrims wore huge hats with buckles on them. In truth, the pilgrims did not dress anything like the pictures we have of them. In fact, the 19th century artists who originally painted them for us used buckles to symbolize being old-fashioned. Myth number five, the pilgrims ate turkey. No, they ate deer. Now, there are accounts that they went out fowling, which is bird hunting, but if they had turkey, it was just a side dish. For the settlers, Deer was actually a delicacy to them. It was something they weren't used to eating. And back in England, deers were on estates, and if they hunted and killed the deer, they'd be arrested for poaching. In fact, there's lots of references in their letters back home featuring venison, because they didn't get a chance to eat it back home. Some other foods that were on the menu, cod, bass, clams, oysters, I am liking and Indian corn, native berries and plums, all washed down with water, beer made from corn, and another drink that the pilgrims affectionately referred to as strong water. The cornbread, beef, milk, cheese, pumpkin pie, because they boiled their pumpkins and ate it plain, and they definitely did not eat lobster because they mistook them for large insects. Myth number six, the pilgrims held a similar feast every year. Not likely. There's no evidence that they held it every year. And in fact, the year after, they probably didn't because the crops harvest was poor and they had another boatload of settlers that needed fed and housed. So they probably would not have had time for that. Anyway, that's it for this week. Hope your Thanksgiving is great. And no matter what myths you choose to celebrate or not, I'm going to gorge myself on turkey and pumpkin pie and some cranberry sauce some green bean casserole, probably some mashed potatoes, some sort of corn dish my mom loves to make. Whatever myths that your family likes to celebrate, remember to focus on the fact that we are setting aside one day as a nation, we should be setting aside more, to be thankful for the gifts that God has given us, for the things that we have that other people may not, and for the things that we have that we can use to help others. So enjoy your Thanksgiving with your family, and remember, don't just be thankful for what you've been given. Take time to give to others and allow them to be thankful. Not to you, 
or your ego, but just to be thankful that they have been provided with something they need. You keep watching, I'll keep sharing stories.